Good day everyone! Today, we will talk about scalar and vector quantities. In this video, we will discuss the difference between the two quantities and identify some examples. Let's start! Scalars are quantities that are described by magnitude. Magnitude is composed of number and unit. For example, 1 meter. 1 is the numeric value and meter is the unit. Vectors, on the other hand, are quantities that are described by magnitude and direction. For example, 1 meter south. 1 meter is the magnitude and south is the direction. Again, take note that difference of the quantities is the presence of the direction. Tandaan na ang pinagkaiba ng dalawang quantities ay ang direction or ang direksyon na meron lamang sa mga vector quantities. Examples of scalar quantities are time, distance, area, density, work, temperature, speed, energy, and power. And for vector quantities, we have displacement, weight, force, acceleration, and velocity. From here, we will discuss further those quantities that are related to our next topic. Ang sunod nating tatalakayin ay yung mga quantities na may kaugnay sa sunod nating topiko. In scalar quantity, we will discuss more examples of time, distance, and speed. Unit for time are seconds, minutes, and hours. For distance, we have meter, kilometer, and miles. And unit for speed are meters per second, kilometers per minute, or miles per hour. Sa vector naman, ang acceleration, displacement, at velocity. Unit for acceleration is meters per second squared north or east o kung anumang direksyon ang pwedeng ilagay. Pwede ding forward o backward. Then, kung titingnan maigi, ang unit ng displacement at distance ay parehas lang. Ang pinagkaiba, ang displacement ay may direksyon. Gayon din ang unit ng velocity at speed. Kung sa speed ay meters per second, ang velocity naman ay meters per second northeast. Sa speed ay kilometers per minute. Sa velocity naman ay kilometers per minute southwest. And miles per hour southeast. To discuss more examples, for time, we have 5 seconds, 8 minutes, or 13 hours. For distance, merong 150 meters or 86 kilometers at pwede ding 97 miles. Sa speed naman, pwede 10 meters per second, 21 kilometers per minute, or 70 miles per Per hour. Let's discuss another example. This time, let us identify the different quantities in a given situation. A school bus travels 20 kilometers in 2 hours with a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. In this example, can you identify the different scalar quantities? Isa-isahin natin. Una ay ang 20 kilometers. Alam nyo kung ano ito? Tama! Ang 20 kilometers ay halimbawa ng distance. Next, we have the 2 hours, which is an example of time. And lastly, is the 10 kilometers per hour. 
Ito naman ay halimbawa ng tama. This is an example of speed. Next example. A cyclist travels 45 kilometers at a speed of 1.5 kilometers per minute. It took him 30 minutes to complete the whole trip. Pareha sa ginawa natin kanina, alamin natin ang mga halimbawa ng scalar quantities. Una ay ang 45 kilometers. And this is an example of a distance. Sunod naman ay ang 1.5 kilometers per minute. At ito ay halimbawa ng speed. And panghuli, ay ang 30 minutes. And ito ay halimbawa ng tama. This is an example of time. Madali lang i-identify ang bawat quantities basta tatandaan lang natin ang mga unit ng bawat isa. Moving on to more examples of vector quantities. In acceleration, Ang pwedeng halimbawa ay 15 meters per second north. Sa displacement naman ay pwedeng 6 meters east, 14 kilometers south, and 17 miles west. Sa velocity naman, 10 meters per second northeast, 16 kilometers per minute southwest, or 50 miles per hour southeast. Sample problem. A driver starts his parked car and within 5 seconds reaches a velocity of 15 meters per second as he travels east with an acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. Again, katulad sa ginawa natin kanina, hahanapin natin ang mga quantities ng vector quantity. Una, 5 seconds. Ito ay halimbawa ng... Tama, ito ay halimbawa ng time. What about 15 meters per second? East. Isipin maigi. Ang tinatalakay natin ay vector quantity. Kaya, ang 15 meters per second east ay halimbawa ng velocity. At panghuli ay ang 5 meters per second squared. At ito naman, ay halimbawa ng acceleration. Sana ay nakatulong ang video lesson na ito para mas maintindihan ninyo ang vector at scalar quantities. Sunod na tatalakayan natin na video lesson ay ang pinagkaiba ng distance at displacement. Maraming salamat sa panunod. Hanggang sa muli.